Torah TV. The world is thinking. I wanted to ask you about something that I actually uh, think you've been in the news in a good way around, which is your use of, uh, of particularly uh, social networking uh, and, and Twitter in particular to sort of change the view of your brand, which is that, that I, I think you would acknowledge that the brand has had taken some dings around service over the past couple of decades, and that's built up. Um, and people started to complain quite vociferously on, on Facebook and Twitter and so on. And you guys did something different about that, which is you actually started responding and fixing things. Was this a decision you made proactively, or did you watch it happen and go, that's smart, and I'm going to allow that to occur and encourage it? The, the latter. I, I will definitely not say um, uh, that I had that idea. Um, but I, I will say it's fascinating for me to watch how quickly you can change a company. And so has and this really changed the culture of the company? I think so. Um, uh, first of all, not just that, but to the point you made, you have to acknowledge we grew very fast. We added internet. We added phone. We added on demand. We added high def channels. And the boxes didn't always work. And we have 300 million phone calls a year we take. So and how many of those are happy? You know. Yeah. <laughs> So if you get 99% right, you know, 3 million. I mean when they first three, call. <laughs> three, 3 million are unhappy. So right. You, you're right. So, many, so you start with, okay, how do you change that? That's a really big operation. And uh, we, use of social networking and use of transparency and letting the customer have more power has been fantastic for us. We have famous Frank. We, we call him uh, in our shop. Frank Elias. You know, he now has 11 uh, people, we've taken a hundred thousand of those folks and customers, and instantaneously been able to talk to them uh, in a different kind of dialogue than 